What is going on everybody? Today I am going to start a new college football what if series. And in this video I will be looking back to the huge controversy of last season which was the Florida State Seminoles missing out on the college football playoffs. Ultimately a lot of things could have changed if Florida State quarterback Jordan Travis never got hurt. And I wanted to look at some of the what if scenarios if Jordan Travis didn't get injured. A quarterback can make a huge difference on a team. And Jordan Travis was definitely the heart and soul of that offense. He led Florida State to an 11-0 record before the heartbreaking leg injury. And he was a big part of the reason for the turnaround with this team. This was a Florida State team that opened the season by beating LSU by double digits. And outside of a couple close games, they looked like a pretty dominant team all year. And you could argue that Florida State was a legitimate national title contender with Jordan Travis at quarterback. And if Jordan Travis never got hurt, it would have been very difficult for the playoff committee to leave this Florida State team out because there really wouldn't have been any excuses to leave them out. Maybe the leg injury was just an excuse to leave Florida State out, but regardless, Florida State would have had a much more dominant finish to the season if Jordan Travis stayed healthy. So it was very unfortunate what happened to Jordan Travis, and his injury made him fall to the fifth round of the NFL draft. If Jordan Travis never got injured, he very well could have been a second or first round NFL draft pick, and he would have had a strong case for the Heisman Trophy. He was having an incredible year, but his season got cut short. Florida State was a great all-around team. They had a bunch of NFL talent, and they had a pretty underrated defense. And in my eyes, this is a team that could have gone far and at least put up a fight in the playoffs. But losing Jordan Travis really hurt this team, and it just shows how much of a difference a quarterback can make on a team. Florida State really struggled to move the ball offensively after losing Jordan Travis. They had to sneak away a win against a pretty average Florida team, and they only scored 16 points against Louisville in the ACC Championship. They ultimately won those games, but it was not the performance that people wanted to see. And a lot of people didn't agree with their decision to leave this team out of the playoffs. But it was very obvious that this was a very different team without Jordan Travis. Ultimately, you cannot take away from the heart this team played with after losing Jordan Travis. We have to give props to the fight this team put up without their quarterback. Because they did overcome the adversity despite losing their quarterback. They managed to finish the regular season undefeated and win the ACC. Jordan Travis wasn't just your average quarterback. He was a leader for this team and he was also a Heisman candidate. He finished fifth in the Heisman voting, even after missing the last couple of games. He was a veteran that had been working hard for years. He was the ACC player of the year in 2023. He also earned second team all ACC in 2022 and first team all ACC in 2023. So we have to give credit to Florida State for finishing the regular season strong and winning the ACC without their quarterback Jordan Travis. They obviously would have had a higher ceiling if Jordan Travis never got injured, and maybe this is a team that was capable of winning a national championship with Jordan Travis. Things didn't go exactly how they expected it to, but they still managed to win the ACC. But ultimately, the end of the season for Florida State was a completely different story. And I really think Florida State lost credibility with that embarrassing loss to Georgia in the bowl game. People make all kinds of excuses saying the game didn't matter anyways and saying Florida State only lost that game because everybody opted out. But that game was embarrassing to college football as a whole. And people seem to forget that this was a Georgia team that only had one loss on the season, which was in the SEC championship game by three points. And before that, Georgia was on a 29 game win streak. And any true college football fan knows Georgia was a top four team last season. And they could have had a case for the playoffs themselves. But despite losing a heartbreaking game in the SEC Championship and missing out on the playoffs after a pretty dominant season, they didn't have many players opt out. And they showed up to play anyways. And they didn't complain or make a bunch of excuses. And that is exactly what a real team with something to prove does. And they definitely made a statement after dominating Florida State to finish the season. But after that game, I think it made a lot of sense on why the playoff committee left Florida State out of the playoffs because they were completely outmatched against Georgia, and there's absolutely no excuses for losing a game 63-3. I don't care who you have opt out, because that was their choice to opt out, and a 66-3 loss definitely showed a gap between those two teams, and I don't understand how you can justify that. That Florida State team without Jordan Travis did not belong in the playoffs. If we're actually being realistic and picking the best four teams, Florida State was not one of them. I am glad that the playoff is expanding next year, though, because it definitely was unfair for an undefeated Power 5 Conference champion to get left out. But last year was ultimately just a crazy year, and there were many teams with strong cases for the playoff. And sadly, Florida State was not one of those top four teams, and that is just the honest truth. 
Florida State has a bright future ahead of them, and there is now an expanded playoff. And I truly believe Mike Novell is one of the best coaches in college football. And I wouldn't be surprised if Florida State went on to win the ACC championship yet again. And 2024 could definitely be a revenge year for the Seminoles. Jordan Travis also is moving on to bigger things, which is the NFL. And I don't follow the NFL much. I'm more of a college football guy. But Jordan Travis fell to the fifth round and got drafted by the New York Jets. And I wish Jordan Travis the best of luck, because I know he can be a great quarterback if he does stay healthy. He's still recovering from his leg injury, so he will need more time. But I'm interested to see just how good he can be at the NFL level. The rise of Florida State has been incredible. From 2017 to 2021, they really struggled. But Mike Norvell became the head coach in 2020, and he rebuilt this team by leading them to back-to-back double-digit win seasons in 2022 and 2023. And Florida State does not look like they're done yet. And Florida State does look like one of those top programs in college football again, but this time Mike Novell is leading the way. The transfer portal has evolved and Mike Novell arguably uses the transfer portal better than any other coach in college football. Mike Novell quickly helped develop Jordan Travis into a star after becoming the head coach. Jordan Travis transferred to Florida State when former head coach Willie Taggart was there. But Jordan Travis didn't hit the field until Mike Novell got there, and that really helped set the foundation for the rise of this Florida State team. Now last season, Florida State was actually first in returning production, I believe, but this season is going to be more of a challenging year for Mike Novell and Florida State. Jordan Travis is no longer with the team, and they lost a lot of NFL talent, but Mike Novell, to no surprise, has completely stacked this team through the transfer portal. DJ Ue Ungale is a very interesting quarterback. He gets a lot of criticism for how much he has transferred, and he hasn't necessarily had the greatest career so far. But you'd have to believe Mike Novell saw something in DJ Ue. And wouldn't it be a story if DJ Ue had an incredible season after returning to the ACC for one last time? You know DJ Ue Ungale is going to be keeping those receipts. And Mike Novell helped to develop Jordan Travis, and it led to great success despite the heartbreaking injury. And DJ Ue definitely has potential. DJ Ue Ungale did take a step up at Oregon State after leaving Clemson, so maybe another bigger step forward for DJ Ue could help lead Florida State to another ACC championship. It's going to have to be a big step, but let's not ignore the fact that DJ Ue is going to have a much better team around him at Florida State. And Florida State might have one of the best defenses in the ACC and possibly even the country. The right coaches and system could really help a quarterback grow. Bonix transferred to Oregon and completely developed his game. Jaden Daniels also transferred to LSU from the Pac-12, and he ended up winning the Heisman Trophy last season. So let's definitely not count out DJ Ue Ungale, because there's still more football to be played and Mike Novell is a great leader. And I think this Florida State team is on a mission after everything that happened last season. A lot of things could have changed if Jordan Travis never got hurt, but that is in the past, and Florida State has bigger things to look forward to. And an expanded playoff gives them a chance to win the ACC and secure a first-round bye. And if you were asking for my opinion, I would not be surprised if Mike Novell and Florida State went on a playoff run at some point, and it could be as soon as next season. But all we can do is speculate, and I'm definitely excited to see just how good this Florida State team could be in 2024. But anyways, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you'll love this channel, because we upload a ton of college football content. And we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing. And also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.